Hey, how's it going everyone? So I'm gonna be bringing you guys along with me as I hit a thrift store today. It's just gonna be a very casual sourcing day. I'll call it a thrifting therapy day. So like I said, super casual. I'm gonna hit one thrift store, maybe two at most. But yeah, I figured I'd take the GoPro along with me today, bring you guys along. So let's see what we can find. I have my old GoPro and my new GoPro mounted on my backpack, so yeah, this is definitely my favorite thrift store to hit in my area, so hopefully we find some good stuff. So red and green, red and green. I'll try to remember that. Does anyone else have short-term memory loss issues? Like half the time, five steps into the thrift store, I always forget which colors are 50% off, so I have to go back and double check. But the first area I hit typically in this thrift store is the shoe section, just because it is immediately to the right when I walk in. New Balance is usually a pretty good seller as long as the price is right. Um, this pair I grabbed right here could have been good, but the soles were just a little worn out and $12.99 was just a little too steep of a price for the soles and the condition of that shoe. Um, this one unfortunately did not have insoles, so um, I just don't mess with shoes that don't have insoles. It depreciates the value a little bit too much. This next pair, Hoka 1-1s, this was a pair of women's running shoes. Whenever I find these, I get super excited. They're always really quick sellers. Just an amazing brand to look for when you're looking through shoes at thrift stores. $5.99 for a pair of Brooks is pretty good. The soles did have a little bit of wear closer to the toe, but for $5.99, I mean, Brooks aren't as good as they used to be, but for $5.99, I'll pick it up. It'll be like a $25 sale. This pair of shoes, I actually have never looked these up before, so if you aren't sure about a brand, um, you have your cell phone. Don't be afraid to look up comps in the store. Um, they had these priced at $9.99, but I don't know, they just looked and felt like a good quality pair of shoes. They were in excellent condition. But yeah, I decided to look these up. I think they were called Salomon X Tour athletic trail shoes something along that line but yeah i was pleasantly surprised i think they were comping out to about 35 to 40 bucks so if you feel like you have a quality product in front of you but you just aren't sure like what the worth of it is don't be afraid to whip out your cell phone that's a resource that's readily available to you and i look up comps all the time you know no shame in my game but yeah i grabbed this pair this next pair was a really good one. This was a pair of men's Keen hiking sandals. Um, they were priced a little high at $12.99, but honestly, they were in really good condition. Looks like this pair was also only worn a couple of times. So I know Keen men's hiking sandals are really quick movers, so decided to pick those up. So I take a look here every single time. Occasionally, this only happened I think twice, but I'll find the graphing calculator hanging here amongst the other calculators sometimes, but that's like once in a blue moon. <laughs> so not today. So this box here caught my attention. Whenever I see something brand new sealed, I always scan it and look it up. You're gonna see when I scan it, nothing shows up. So I just type in the product name into eBay search function to see if anything has sold recently. You just never know with this stuff, especially if it's discontinued, it'll appreciate in value. But brand new sealed stuff is super easy to look up, uh, find comps for. You just never know what you're gonna find. And if you do find something really good, uh, brand new stuff is super easy to photograph and list. Unfortunately, this one here wasn't worth too much. I actually forget to talk about this snow globe in the second half of the video, which is just the haul of everything that I picked up. But um, I thought this snow globe was really cool. It was from the musical, the Broadway musical Lion King. Um, I thought it would be worth something. I couldn't find comps for that exact snow globe, but yeah, I just had an itch, I guess. I just have a good feeling about this one. So I decided to take the gamble and pick it up for $7.99 and 
yeah i'm just gonna price it on the higher end maybe like 35 dollars plus shipping and see what happens i don't know we'll see you always got to look through the electronics they had a nintendo wii but it was priced at $29.99, so a little bit too much, and that was just the common theme across the board for their entire electronics section, unfortunately. Um, they do miss a few things here and there, but not much pickings today. And once I loop through all the hard goods, that's when I go into clothing, so I do still look at the ties. I'm super picky when it comes to ties, but if I find something cool, like this Brooks Brothers tie that I'm about to pick out, was is definitely a vintage piece. Um, it has its original price tag on it, and it's just a super old style of tag. So, um, just a unique design, decided to pick this one up. But yeah, picking through clothing is just not exciting to watch, so let's speed right past through this. I'm actually gonna have to slow it down a little bit here because it's always exciting when you find new brands that sell for a high dollar amount. Um, this is called the Roosevelt's, it's R-S-V-L-T-S. -S. I'll throw up comps up on the screen, but um, the shirt just felt really nice and the design, the, the print, the graphics was super unique and it was a tag that I've never seen before. So if I see a tag that I've never seen before, I'll tend to look it up and over time you'll kind of, you know, have a base of knowledge of what tags to ignore and which tags to grab and throw into your cart. But yeah, this shirt was worth, I don't know, comps were kind of all over the place, but in a good way. Um, but I think I can get like 50, 60 bucks shipped for that shirt right there. Back home now, so I'll show you everything I picked up today. I ended up paying $115.13. I'm gonna to have to do a bit more research. I'll throw up comps as I'm showing stuff if I can, but definitely have to do a little bit more diving into the comps and price everything out. But I'll definitely make money off of this haul. I'd say the most exciting find for today was this shirt right here, this graphic button down shirt, short sleeve. It was just a tag I've never seen before. It's called the Roosevelt's RS. VLTS and I was just going through the clothing rags and this piece just felt like a quality piece and I've never seen this tag before so I looked it up and I was pleasantly surprised. I think I can get at least 50 to 60 bucks for this. I'm gonna have to do a lot more research on it. Uh, this could be potentially worth more but I'd say at a minimum I think 50 to 60 dollars free shipping I can get for this shirt. Uh, pretty cool design. It has like this little block cell phone, old, sc old school mobile phone, and this girl right here. So pretty unique design, but yeah, most exciting find for today. We got this hat, this mesh trucker's hat. Uh, it's Hoka 1-1. I only paid, it was priced at $1.99. I'll probably ask around 25 bucks. And then I got a bunch of shoes. So I got these pair of Brooks running shoes, women's. Um, Brooks, they're not as good, but they're still pretty solid sellers. Um, and I'll pick them up if the price is right. So I picked these up for $5.99. I got these pair of Keen sandals. Keen is an amazing brand. They are in excellent condition. There's just no wear to them. But Keen men's sandals blue. Um, they're a size 10, so a pretty good size as well. We have a pair of Hoka 1-1 running shoes, a woman's pair. Um, these are always, whoops, almost dropped them. Um, these are always really quick movers. I think the last pair I sold for like $55 plus shipping, so uh, I was excited to find this. And I paid, they were priced at $9.99, so um, just from prior experience from selling these, I think the cheapest pair I sold, I sold for 45 plus shipping. And the last pair of shoes are these Salomon X Tour athletic shoes. They were priced at $9.99. And I think I can get like 40 plus shipping, but once again, I'm gonna have to research everything 
one more time before listing it. I got two pairs of neckties. I'm extremely picky with neckties these days, but um, if I find something decent, I'll still pick it up. I paid $3.99 for both of them. So $3.99 each. Um, this one is a Brooks Brothers. I think it's new. It has a tag, but it's ripped. So I'll probably sell it as pre-owned, but uh, Brooks Brothers ties, um, they're not the quickest movers, but I can typically get like 20 bucks for them. And this one I just thought was really cool. This is a Brooks Brothers as well, a Brooks Brothers Makers. Uh, made in the US, this is a vintage tie. But just look at this tag. It was originally priced at 48 bucks. Um, but yeah, I think I'll price this at like 25, 30. Um, 30 is probably pushing a little bit, but I might be able to get that. Um, but yeah, a vintage Brooks Brothers tie and it has a very unique design on it. So I just thought this one was cool. So decided to pick it up. And the last few things was all clothing. These are all just like bread and butter items for me. Things to just fill up my store. Um, I'll typically profit anywhere from like 15 to $25 for most of the stuff like this that I pick up. But those dollars, like those 15, 20 bucks add up really quick. So I always pick up clothing items like this. I deal in a lot of men's clothing, so everything I got today was men's clothing. I got two Hawaiian shirts. This one was made in Hawaii, but it was just a super colorful print. It has, it says Aloha right here. There's a little boat, it has palm trees, flowers. Um, it's like a salmon pinkish reddish. So really loud colors, which is good for an Aloha Hawaiian shirt. So decided to pick this one up. And the second Hawaiian shirt, this is like a, a very strong blue with white flowers on it. This one is Milson, made in Hawaii as well. Um, these Hawaiian shirts, depending on the style, I'd say the print and the colors are more important for these Aloha Hawaiian vacation types of button front shirts. But anywhere from like $25 to $35 is typically what I get for these Hawaiian shirts. And the last four items here are all men's dress shirts or casual button downs. Um, this one is a purple Hugo Boss slim fit. This one here is a Bugatti shaped fit flip cuff dress shirt. So flip cuff means just right here at the cuff. Um, if you flip it around, there's like a colorful print on the inside. So I think when most people wear stuff like this, they'll flip the cuff and display the inside piece here. I picked up an LL Bean casual button down shirt. This one is typically when I look for these, I pick up ones that say wrinkle free or wrinkle resistant, but just another bread and butter item here. I'll probably get like $25 shipped for this. And this last piece here is a really good brand to look for. It's a Lacoste Slim Fit, um, a men's, it says XL slash 2XL, so a larger size, which is typically a good thing for men's clothing. So this piece, um, priced at $9.99 for Lacoste button down shirts or button front shirts, I can typically get like $35, $40 shipped. So really good piece right here. And yeah, that was everything I picked up from that one thrift store I went to today. If you all want to see more thrift store ride-alongs, definitely let me know down in the comment section below. I'll try to be better at remembering to bring my GoPro and my camera um, to the thrift stores so I can film while I'm sourcing. But yeah, I appreciate you all watching. If you made it this far into the video, um, I'm super thankful um, that you're so supportive and just the fact that you're watching my videos really does mean so much. But yeah, other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.